I am taking on one of the hardest challenges in all of Pokemon only using shiny Pokemon. There is no way! And every time I lose a battle, I will be giving away money to lucky subscribers who comment a certain phrase that will be revealed later on in this video. The rules are simple. I can only use shiny Pokemon and every time I wide out, I add to the total amount I will give away. Today, I'm playing on Pokemon Crystal version which only has a 1 in 8192 chance of a shiny Pokemon appearing, making the odds barely more than 0.0. .0 one. This is going to be crazy tough and time consuming, so let's get into it. So like at the beginning of every Pokemon game, I have to give myself a name, and of course I give myself the name Teon, because believe it or not, that's my name. In Pokemon Crystal, you get the option between Cyndaquil, Totodile, and Chikorita. In this game, you get an automatic 100% guaranteed shiny Gyarados, so I'm not going to be shiny hunting for the water starter or the grass starter because Chikorita is just awful. So for this run, I'll be shiny hunting for Cyndaquil, that way I'll get a fire starter, which is arguably the best starter in the game. Cyndaquil eventually evolves into Typhlosion, and Typhlosion with Eruption is a really good combo. So now, it's time to spend hours upon hours upon hours of my life sitting in the same exact spot and resetting until the sprite turns a slightly different color. There really is no fast way to do this even with speed up because there's a lot of dialogue you have to get through and you could only press the A button so fast. But if you're persistent enough, everybody gets lucky eventually. Oh, yes, dude. Oh my, that's just, oh my gosh. Finally! Oh my god! Oh, dude, that took forever. That took a absolute soup. This, this is what's my life now. This is my actual life. Shiny hunting, dude. Okay, dude. Literally done. Look at this. Look, look at this. Look at this. Look at this boy. Look at it. Look, it's beautiful. I mean, it's just slightly different because uh, Gen 2 and graphics and stuff, but. Dude, that's awesome. Finally, I got my first team member, which of course is my shiny Cyndaquil. And now finally, with the shiny Pokemon in my party, I'm finally able to leave this laboratory and actually progress in the game. Dude, and the Gen 2 little shiny spray thing just looks so, so cool, man. So cool. It looks so nice, dude. It, it just looks so nice. Ignore the fact that I'm almost dead, but it, it just looks, it just looks awesome. The Gen 2 shiny sparkles just... They hit different, man. They hit different. Eventually, I make it to Cherry Grove City, and then I find myself in Professor Oak's laboratory, I think. He then gives me an egg, which I have to deliver back to Professor Elm, but on my way there, I end up getting stopped. This unnamed man comes up to me and then challenges me to a battle, which I thought would be no issue because I'm at level 7, and I know his Pokemon's only at level 5. You really think you could come in here? beat me with your non-shiny Pokemon. As we all know, shiny Pokemon have way better stats than their non-shiny counterparts, so this battle should be just an absolute breeze. Okay, hold up, just a second. Okay, on second thought, this, this, uh, this <laughs> might not go so good. How much does Scratch do? Okay, uh, boys and girls, uh, it seems like, uh, we may be in trouble, uh, okay, uh, you know what I said earlier about, you know, shinies being better than the non-shiny Pokemon, well, uh, he's hacking, that's the only explanation, and I actually end up losing the very first rival battle, which honestly, I did not expect, so, there goes $20, my rival's name will be YouTube, for reasons that are, um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, don't worry about it. And shortly after leaving Professor Elm's lab, once again, I arrive in the first gym, which is Faulkner. And all jokes aside about my rival cheating to win his battle, I think Faulkner actually is cheating, and you'll see why. You think you can beat me, Faulkner? Joke's on you. I have a shiny Pokemon. And as we all know, shiny Pokemon have better stats than non-shiny Pokemon, meaning you're automatically at a disadvantage. <laughs> okay, that didn't work so well last time, but, um, we got Ember now, so, are we Ember? Should do over half. Yeah, it does about three fourths. Mud slap. Okay. Just gotta worry about the accuracy drop. Knowing my luck, we probably end up missing. But no, there we go. All right, Pidgey down. Pidgey down. Now, I heard that Faulkner has an illegal Pidgeotto, so I'm excited to see that. Let's see, baby. Here he is, the boy level 9 Pidgeotto. So I might have joked about my rival hacking to beat me, but I believe Faulkner may actually be hacking. This is, this is, this is not okay. This is not okay at all. Yeah, one more and you're done. Unless you have potions. Do you have potions? Ooh, the crit. Ooh, the crit. Oh, no potions. Oh, no, we missed because of the mudslap. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, please. No, no, not already. Come on. There we go, okay. Whew. That was, uh, 
That was a little bit too close to call. I, I, I don't appreciate that. Thanks, Faulkner. Go take your game shark and go somewhere else, man. And after an actual really close battle, I end up getting the first gym badge from Faulkner. Every single time I white out in this run, I have to increase the amount of money I give away. This would not be possible, of course, without today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by NordPass. NordPass is the best password manager I have ever used, and it's brought to you by the same people who bring you NordVPN. Using a password manager like NordPass has definitely made my life easier. I don't have to use the same password for every single thing like I used to do and that was one of the main reasons why all of my accounts on everything I had got hacked a little bit ago. I thought using a different password for every single login was a little bit ridiculous and I would never remember them, but with NordPass, that completely solves the issue. Trust me, using one password for everything you own is a terrible idea, and I'm speaking from personal experience. With NordPass, you're able to get an exclusive deal on a two-year NordPass premium plan at nordpass.com forward slash Tion, or just use code Tion at checkout, and you get an additional month for free. NordPass is a zero-knowledge password manager, which means no one else but you could see what's in your encrypted vault. Even the NordPass team can't see your passwords. And if you don't like it, there's a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's literally no risk to trying this out for yourself. And of course, thank you NordPass for sponsoring this video. Next up is Sprout Tower, and since I'm only running with one Pokemon right now, I get Cyndaquil up enough levels where it evolves into Quilava. Hey, we got the boy, we got the boy, I accidentally disabled the evolution first time around but you know level 15 is fine i hope i didn't miss out on any uh great moves but i guess we'll find out now that cyndaquil evolved it's time to take on sprout tower they mainly use bell sprout in this tower obviously because it's called sprout tower who would have guessed but i've been super unlucky before and hopefully it doesn't happen again hey here's the guy that cost me money okay rival time rival time easy peasy listen last time you may have gotten the best of me, okay? But this time around, I am overleveled and, more importantly, oh, as it turns out, you actually don't fight your rival in Sprout Tower, but you do get to fight this old man, so I'll take it, I guess. All right, Sage Lee, Let's see what you got. You got a Bell Sprout? What level is your Bell Sprout? Let me see, man. Level seven. Oh, pff, oh, this poor guy has no idea what's coming to him. You have no idea what's coming to him, dude. We're at level 16 now. Yep, easy peasy. Listen, I'm not losing anymore. I mean, in a way, I guess I still do lose, considering I have to spend at least a million more hours looking for shiny Pokemon, but, you know, that's fine. Not quite a KO. Does just over half. Uses Foresight, which, as we all know, is the most useful move in the entire game. Hoo hoo, going down here, easy peasy. Assuming it'd be dumb if it wasn't. No level 7, okay. Well, you know, Gen 2 wasn't, uh, you know, not the most well thought out game, in my opinion. But, Easy battle. Nothing to worry about. And now with Sage Lee taken care of, I thought it would be time for me to catch another shiny team member, but at this point, I realized that Bugsy was actually next, which is a Bug-type gym leader. So, catching another team member here would be completely irrelevant because Quava is more than capable. Oh, hey, it's the Egg. What are the chances of the shiny? Uh, that would be awesome. Easy shiny. Easy shiny. No. You know, I didn't expect it to be. Can't use our Togepi. So sad. So sad. I guess we could. I'm not sure exactly how this game works. I'm not sure if you could just reset before that hatches. I don't think it's how that works. It'll be okay. We don't need a Tokopi. After wandering around aimlessly for about 30 minutes, I finally make my way to Bugsy. If this bug type gym leader somehow wins, I will absolutely lose my mind. All right, second gym time, okay? All I have is a overleveled Quilava, but uh, as I like to say, um, my Pokemon are shiny and Bugsy's is not so therefore we have the advantage all right so metapod this is a bug gym so this should be uh really easy even though our strongest fire type move is ember it should go pretty easy let's find out scyther scyther okay scyther is kind of scary what level is it though that's the question 16 okay we're getting somewhere now we're getting somewhere please don't lose please don't do over half for me okay great three force again nice uh fury cutter is gonna <laughs> i was <laughs> I was, I was really scared there for a second. Okay, well, um, you know that one damage. You know it might be the game changer. I don't know. Oh my gosh, poor Scyther. Okay, Cocoon is out last. What a gym. Um, you know I'm not sure what the game developers were thinking to put a Cocoon and a Metapod and stuff like that inside of gyms, but I'm not complaining because with that KO, that is going to be 
an easy victory. And now with Bugsy, the second gym leader out of the way, it is time for me to catch my second team member. I'm not going to be using my Quilava and eventually Typhlosion throughout the entire game. That would be super boring and make for a really bad video. But I honestly don't know what I need. I don't know what will be helpful for this run, so I'm just going to go to the next route and see exactly what's to offer. I have no idea where to go after this. Oh no! I didn't expect that. Um... Okay, listen, my guy. I didn't heal after the last battle, and the Scyther did one damage to me with a Fury Cutter, so I need you to take it easy, man, please. Bring it on, YouTube. Bring it on. Ghastly. Alright, what level are you? 12? Okay. As long as it doesn't hit me with, like, a curse or something, I think I'll be fine. Oh, no, I healed up, apparently. I don't remember doing that, but... Okay, I'll take it. Do over half for me, please. Okay. Okay, or it's just one shot. You know, that's cool, too. Okay, Karakana. Okay, this is gonna be the biggest issue... Level 16, uh, I believe a quick attack is gonna be the better move here. I'm gonna make sure. I guess we're just going with the quick attack here. I was gonna check how much Ember does compared to quick attack, but we'll see. Oh no, we're in trouble. Oh no, we're in trouble. Not again, please. No, oh no. Oh no. Okay, so obviously that's gonna KO me. He could get a crit, I could get a crit, still won't make up the damage. I'm gonna go for the all reliable smoke screen because I don't know what else to do. I had no idea there was a right bull battle here. Oh my gosh, a Leer! But it failed. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm assuming because you missed. I'm going to go for the second one. Please. Please. Easy accuracy drop times two. Missed the water gun for me? Yes, okay. Dope. Uh, I'm going to go for the quick attack now. Do some damage, please. Okay. Okay, miss, 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 miss. Okay, not good, not good, not good, not good. How much do I got to do? Oh, I can survive one more. I need a crit, please. Crit, give me a crit. Make a miss. Miss, 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 miss. Yes, okay. Easy, 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 easy. I need you to miss one more for me. Oh, no, two more. Oh, no! I can survive this, right? I can survive this, right? Ah! Give me a crit, please. Give me a crit. Give me a crit. No! Miss, 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 miss. Yes! Yo, we're in this still. We are in this still. We are in this still. You- Oh my gosh. Okay, Crocodile. Oh my goodness, please. Please. What is the last? Zubat? Yo, if the Zubat takes me out, I will be astonished. And if he uses Astonished, that'd be even more funny. Okay, please. Please. I don't think it'll one-shot, but I'll do close, right? Okay. Live. Live. Bite? I can live that, right? <gasps> yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! Yo, the smoke screen strats. Let's go, baby! And after using smoke screen and getting super lucky, I end up defeating the rival barely with only 6 HP left. And now with our rival out of the way once again, barely getting that victory, it's time to actually catch the next team member. Now, originally, I wasn't going to use any HM Pokemon in this video that wasn't shiny. Eventually, I did decide against that because I haven't uploaded in such a long time, and doing that would make this video take literal months more to make. Also, now it's time for me to tell you how you could win the money I'm giving away. All you have to do is make sure you're subscribed to the channel, like the video, and comment down below with your comment containing the word Pokemon. Now, I've been having a lot of trouble with my rival just because of his starter Pokemon. I also needed something that could learn Cut because I did not want to waste a move slot on Cut on my Quilava. After doing some research, I find out there's a route near here that actually contains Bellsprout. Now, Bellsprout, once it evolves especially, is going to be super helpful against the Croconaw, and it could learn Cut. So, let's get into it. Now, obviously, on this route, there are more than just a Bellsprout I could actually run into. I could run into an Ekans, I could run into a Rattata, and of course, I can run into a Bellsprout. And if I ended up getting a shiny Hoppip, I probably would have ended up throwing my entire computer out the window. But what I ended up getting was absolutely shocking. Please, 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 can this learn cut? Please. Please. Bellsprout, Bellsprout, please. Yes, it can! Oh, yes, dude. Easy. Oh my gosh, dude. I was prepared to catch so much stupid crap just to get something that knows cut. Oh my gosh, because I can teach Quilava cut, but yeah. Oh wait, I don't have any balls. <gasps> please. Oh my gosh. Alright, so there's a percent chance I don't catch this thing, and if that happens, I will... Oh, okay, never mind. 
I was going to say something that was going to get me demonetized. Awesome. What are we going to name this? We're going to name this Bunger. It's like burger, but not. <laughs> but now with Bellsprout in the party, we have a decent grass type, especially once it evolves. And it can learn cut, which is going to be super helpful and definitely useful throughout this run. Wait. Hold up a second. Did I actually need to know cut to get through here? Nah, I have to know now. I have to know. I'm assuming I did. I don't want to know. Never mind. <laughs> I, I, I do not want to know. I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments below. Now, the next gym leader is Whitney. And as we all know, Whitney is everybody's favorite Gen 2 gym leader. I've heard tons of stories about her milk tank that knows milk drink and roll out. And that it causes a lot of issues. And since my starter is a fire type, I'm pretty sure I should level up Bellsprout until it evolves. No. As much as you guys would like me to challenge Whitney right now, I don't think that's a great idea, to be completely frank with you. So I'm going to get a couple more levels on Quilava, and I'm going to level up uh, Bellsprout, and then I'm going to go from there. Eventually, I get Bunger to evolve, and he also learns Sleep Powder and Poison Powder, which is going to be helpful with the Miltank as well, because I just plan on using Sleep Powder on Miltank so it can't build up rollouts, but we'll see how it goes. Alright, Whitney. I've heard a lot about you and your milk tank, and I'm just gonna ask very nicely. I've even prepared for you, so I'm just asking nicely. Don't use rollout, please. So, I have a strategy to take down Whitney with my Weepin' Bell. Yeah, Weepin' Bell. Okay, so I have a strategy to take down milk tank with Weepin' Bell, or uh, Bunger, Bunger, if you want to call it that. And uh, I think it'll go pretty good. I'm just going to try to put it to sleep because I know it can get really dirty when it uses rollout and stuff. Plus, I've heard a ton of people complain about it as long as I don't get poisoned. He actually, it doesn't matter. I don't think Quilava is going to be really the main factor in this. All right. Clefairy burned. Easy, easy KO, right? Unless Metronome like explodes or something. Return? That might do a little bit, actually. Stab plus friendship? Nope. Never mind. Okay. So this should go down. Yep. And next up is going to be um, Miltank. And I don't know what level this is. Level 20, okay. Now, we have a slight level advantage, but we don't really have any good attacking moves. We have Sleep Powder, though, which is going to be my best friend, hopefully. Okay, attract. Okay. Yeah, this is... Yeah, okay. I, I see. I see why people hate this thing. Hit it with Sleep Powder. Come on. Okay, awesome. Nice. Um, I think the strategy is to switch out just to get rid of the uh, attract and see how much damage I could actually do with Quilava. Not sure how much I could do, because this thing kind of is a tank. As long as it stays asleep for a couple more turns, I think we'll be fine. Okay, let's go ahead and hit this thing with the Ember. Could go smoke screen as well if I really wanted to play it safe, but I think we'll be okay. Okay, that did a good amount. Okay, woke up after one turn. Nice. By nice, I mean not good. Okay, that's not good. I'm switching back out the Bunger, please. I don't want to die here. I don't want to die. That would not be very nice. Um, okay, that actually hurt quite a bit. Uh, Sleep Powder, please roll out. Uh, that's not gonna KO, it's gonna do a lot though. Jeez, Sleep Powder should hit here. Okay, nice. Um, I am gonna let Bung Bunger go down. I'm gonna hit it with a, uh, I guess Vine Whip is my best bet here. I'm not sure how much it'll do. I don't think Weepin' Bell is known for its strength. Okay, it did an okay amount. As long as it doesn't get healed up constantly. It has Milk Drink too, I know that. I think it has Milk Drink at least. It would make sense. Um, stay asleep. Okay, nice. So if it stays asleep for one more turn, uh... It's dead, right? Unless it gets healed up with a potion? Oh, we would just win. Milk Tank got countered by, uh, Sleep Powder. Nice, okay. That went as well as uh, it could have, really. And the newly evolved Weeping Bell basically took down the dreaded Mill Tank all by itself using Sleep Powder, which was honestly a really good counter. Dare I say this gym battle was even easy, but I guess she heard me say that because she starts to cry, and honestly, I had no idea what to do here. I even checked how many gym badges I had because I had no idea what to do, but I figured out you just talk to this blue-haired girl, and then she gives it to you. So, yep, that was weird. Three badges down. Only... 12,000 more to go in this game. Next, I was stumbling around this game for literally over an hour trying to figure out where to go. I refused to look it up because I thought to myself, hey, this is a children's video game. There's no shot I can't figure this out. But 
I, I couldn't figure it out. I did have to end up googling where to go, and apparently I'm supposed to head to a place called the Burned Tower, which eventually I found. I also found my rival in this tower, which he challenges me to a battle to, which I have no issue with whatsoever now that we got our brand new shiny grass type that should be able to absolutely destroy his water type. Yo man, are you here to lose again to Panth Attack or Smokescreen? Because listen, I am somewhat of a uh, Smokescreen aficionado. Also, my Pokemon are shiny, which automatically gives me the ad Okay, I'm done with that joke. Okay, level 20. Good thing um, I've been lost in this entire game. I've literally been lost for about an hour and a half, like, real time. And uh, I'm at now level 35. And uh, I thought uh, I would go to the Lake of Rage. Nope, didn't happen. Then I thought I would go to Jasmine. Nope, didn't happen. So now I'm just kind of here wandering aimlessly and... Uh, Finally, after almost two hours, I found out where I'm supposed to be. Okay, Croknaw, level 22. You think you're fancy? Bunger here is at level 24. And he has Vine Whip. And it does almost one hit, because it's a critical hit. Easy, dude. Nah, Croknaw, no longer an issue. No longer an issue. Bunger has it, dude. Let's go. Let's go. I think... Uh, Magnemite? Yep, okay, Magnemite's out next. We got the easy switch into our boy Quilava, and we're gonna go for the Flame Wheel for an easy one-shot. Flame Wheel, way better than Ember. Goodbye, Magnemite, you will not be missed. All right, and last out is going to be Zubat, which is kind of disappointing, not gonna lie. Get this thing with a Flame Wheel, and it should be enough for a one-hit KO, because Zubat is extremely weak. Yep, there we go, okay. Easiest Morty fight I've had. Morty fight? Easiest rifle fight I've had in uh, quite a bit, considering I didn't only win because he missed 14 times. Our rifle now is somewhat of a joke, but now with him out of the way, it's time for the next gym badge, which is Morty. The Morty, actual like Morty fight, and not the rival fight. I called a Morty fight. <laughs> Yo, oh my gosh. Yo, Grace, you good? Oh my goodness. Look at that sprite. Grace also is the one which leveled up Quilava to level 36, where it evolves into Typhlosion, which is definitely going to be helpful and is a lot stronger than Quilava. All right, so I think because you guys want me to actually uh, lose, I'm going to go ahead and not go to a center beforehand, I think. Is that a smart idea? It is. I'm full HP. Listen, it's fine. I'll win this, and I will not lose again. And if I do, um, you know, that's gonna be some Fs in chat. Alright, Morty. Me and you, Morty. Alright, Morty, I know you're a ghost-type gym leader. That's all I know about you, though. Alright, Ghastly's first out. What level are you? Is the question 21. Okay. Uh, as long as I don't get with the curse, I think I should be fine. Go ahead and hit this thing with a flame wheel. And I think it should be enough for one hit KO, considering it's a Typhlosion. I don't think it would as a cool lava, but Typhlosion maybe. Yep, okay. Alright, next is a Haunter. Okay. Uh, still don't think this is going to be an issue. Could be wrong. I mean, no in my luck. Okay, still level 21. Uh, I know Haunter's not that strong either, at least defense-wise, so I'm not sure if this will take it out. We'll see. Okay, yeah, it is enough for 1-8 KO. Nice. Maybe I'm over level for this gym, considering I just got level 37, and my Bunger has not even seen... Okay, Gengar. Okay, that's a little scary. That's a little scary. Okay. Ooh, this thing looks terrifying in Gen 2 sprites. Jeez, dude. That's scary. Okay, I outspeed, luckily. Flame Wheel's gonna do... There's no way this one shot, right? I don't think so, at least. No. Okay. He's gonna hit with the Hypnosis. Oh, he missed! Oh, huge, huge, huge. It's over. It's over. Was that your ace? If that was your ace, that's over, man. That's why Hypnosis is such a bad move. Okay, Haunter again, yeah. Unless this thing's like level 50, then we should be fine. Right? Alright, level 23, yeah. 1 hit KO. Should be 1 hit KO, and that's gonna be a good game, and that's gonna be 4th gym badge. Nice. I think. Okay, good. For like 0.2 seconds, I was like super scared. I don't know what I was scared of, but, you know... Knowing my luck, man. And I was easily able to defeat Morty. Now, I don't like being this overleveled. I'm not crazy overleveled, like level 60 or anything, but I do have a pretty sizable advantage, and I really don't enjoy that. The only reason I'm that level is because I did get lost for a very long time. If I do another shiny run, I promise I will not be overleveled because I know it definitely does take away a lot of the challenge. But now that I defeated Morty and have the fourth gym badge, I can actually surf now. And because I did catch a 8 gym Pokemon that knows surf, which I can't use in battle, 
battle because it's not shiny. But that does mean I can go to the Lake of Rage and get my guaranteed shiny Gyarados, which is a strong water type. Alright, let's see guys, this is attempt number one on getting a shiny Gyarados. Oh my gosh! Oh no gosh, it's a shiny! Oh my goodness gracious! Okay. Yeah, so of course, this is the uh, guaranteed Gyarados, so I don't think we'll have an issue with it. It is level 30! A little bit scary. Good thrash. Okay, that's a really good move. Okay, I'm happy with that. Oh! Okay, I'm not happy with that. I want a sleep powder down. That'd be nice. Okay, well... <sighs> well... <clears throat> Alright, there is a percent chance that uh, I don't catch this or a white out, which is going to be kind of funny. Gyarados, I need you to chill. Okay, you're confused. That's nice. No three-turn thrash. Okay, bro, you have to chill. You have to chill. You have to chill. Get in the ball. Get in the ball, please. Get in the ball, please. One, two. No! Hit yourself, hit yourself, hit yourself. No! Yo, Typhlosion, Typhlosion. Tough it out, tough it out. Easy peasy. Please, Gyarados. Gyarados, please. Gyarados, please. No! Hit yourself, please. Oh, no. <laughs> Gosh dang it, Gyarados. So, for the second time in the run, I end up whiting out to a wild Pokemon of all things, which is kind of funny, and it doesn't actually end up going away just because I white out, so I get to try again. Also, of course, that's another $20 gift card that I am giving away. Let's do as much damage as I can. Okay, misses the bite. Even a critical hit quick attack won't kill here, so that's fine. Okay, nice. Just like I said. Okay, okay, now the thrash hits. Okay, that's a little scary. That's a little scary. Okay, so if I white out again, that's going to be another 20, which is uh, very annoying. Okay, Bunger, don't cost me money. Please hit the sleep powder, please. Okay, okay, miss, nice. Sleep powder, nice. Please, Gyarados, get in the ball. Get in, get in. One, two, three, give me four. Yes! Finally! Okay, I was legitimately worried there, because if he hit Thrash and it crit, it would one-shot me. Oh my god. Goodness. Alright, welcome to the team, Gyarados. <laughs> Gyarados. Finally, I end up capturing the Lake of Rage Gyarados, which of course, like I mentioned earlier, is a 100% guaranteed shiny, and now we have three team members who are all actually pretty good. And with that, guys, that's gonna be the end of this video. There is going to be a part two, obviously, of me finishing the game, and if you guys really want me to do the Kanto part and take on Red, I will do that as well. Just make sure you subscribe with bell notifications on so you know when I upload it, because it's coming out very soon.